<laughs> oh, man. All right. You ready? Ready! Welcome to the show. Welcome to Ninjas or Butterflies. Welcome. Today, we actually have a really um, important topic to talk about. Yeah. And we're not going to move on past it. I lost my audio. Oh, yeah, there we go. And we're not going to move on past it until we uh, kind of all land on the same page and agree. Well, we don't have to agree, but it's. I, I think we should just discuss it. Yeah. Um, we've seen just this. It's going on social media like crazy right now. This It's like a big issue happening. And so the question today is, should women own land? Should they be allowed to own land? Should they be allowed to um, own land? I'll start it off right now because I have very strong feelings about this. I would say, uh, yes, obviously, I think they should. I think it's without a doubt they should. That's yep. actually, that's pretty interesting. Um Hmm. I actually, I, I think that they should own land. I think they have that right as women. I mean, okay. Yeah. And so yeah. I think they should be able to own land. Uh, Anthony, Anthony, what would you say? I would say, I would say, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think they would, I think they should That's own interesting. All, I, all the land. To be honest, not what I thought I was going to say, but I'm Same. happy. I, I think, it, I think it's wrong that men own land. <laughs> You heard it here first. Take the land away from the men. <laughs> Boom. Intro. Boom. Intro. <laughs> Ninjas are butterflies. Did I say ninja? I meant butterfly. The butterfly is no doubt one of God's <laughs> most beautiful As an empty mind. You were martial arts. Fuck ninja. Welcome, our guest, Anthony Russo. Hey, Anthony Russo. Bow, 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 bow. Bow, bow, bow. He uh, he runs the Bible is Funny uh, on Instagram, and uh, he dropped a book last week, last month, last not week. last year. You dropped the book yesterday. Yesterday, <laughs> just now. Is What's the date? <laughs> Sometime in there, I did. Yeah, I dropped a book. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah, mm-hmm. and uh, so so tell us a little bit about yourself, Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Anthony. Yeah, you're <laughs> well, we should Anthony. list everything that we know about Anthony that he would say <laughs> and, and say, what, "Tell us about yourself." <laughs> <laughs> so now that I got that out of the way, tell us about yourself. So funny to say that and then say, "Tell us a little bit about yourself." <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, my name's Anthony Russo. That you that's correct. That is. You guys got that Checks right? Out. Um I I I have a I have a wife and two kids. No. I have a dog. It's true. Which oh, one yeah, true. yeah, which one's your favorite? Of all of the ones I just named? Yeah, the wife and the kids. They all all together. Everybody's in there. My yeah. wife's definitely my favorite nice. of that crew. She will not listen to this. You know that, right? She honestly, guys, she listens to uh, I've joked about this with her before. It's like she listens to me on podcasts I do on like one and a half speed. Mm-hmm. So I'll be like walking around the house and I'll be like, that sounds a little <laughs> like me, but like I had helium right before or something. <laughs> and that she's a, she's such a trooper, man. She really does listen to the podcast. I that's do, awesome. Which that's is, good. I don't. And I, that's why she's your favorite. That's why she's my favorite. Name, the kids cool. don't listen to any of How my many podcasts. Po- yeah, exactly. How many podcasts do your kids listen to? <laughs> they don't listen to any the worst. of my podcasts. But they watch. They do watch like weird stuff on YouTube. They don't watch my stuff, but they watch like people opening Pokemon card packs. Mm. My kids watch the the girls that like just play with dolls, and you just hear their voices, and it's just it's terrible. It's agony listening to it, but they love it. I I don't understand it at all. But I, remember, I don't know what the equivalent for that for us is. I don't know what that equivalent is. I remember at one point feeling like Barney was like really bad content. Like this is, this was lame and that's all we had. And I watch what my kids watch and I'm like, Barney was like not that bad. Barney was well produced. I think Selena Gomez was on it. If I remember correctly, there's like been some celebrities that were on Barney. We didn't know how good we had it. Yeah. What do you think Barney was doing behind the scenes? Oh, there's a documentary (laughs) about that. Is it bad? I, he just was an odd guy. The guy in the in the suit. What do you mean in the suit? Wearing, shoot. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, no, no. Uh, the there, we all wear a suit <laughs> that we present to the world. Right. That is like a little a, like different. A mask, like a oh, mask. So like like his, a hypothetical. Like his personality. Like yeah. He's the, a dinosaur. He is a dinosaur. Yeah. yeah. That is. He's a friend to me. us. He's. Yeah. He is from our imagination. <laughs> You're telling me that no, 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 a no, 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 human I, I being s- inside a dinosaur. Yes, that would be that would be silly. That oh would be man, silly. 
What, right. what shows did you watch as growing up, Anthony? I don't remember. You, what's you were, that? You were 89, 89? You're an 89 baby? I'm an 89 year. I'm 89 years old today. <laughs> you're looking so good. Um, Especially for dropping a book yesterday. I dropped, <laughs> I dropped a Not book. a lot of 89 year olds are dropping books, but you're dropping them like crazy. Yeah. There's a lot of like, um, I feel like in music, you like drop a song or you drop an album. Like that sounds really cool. Yeah. And like dropping a book feels like you're trying to <laughs> graft into something. Like that's. Yo, that's, I just dropped a book. <laughs> yo. Check it out. It's a uh, Amazon Barnes and Noble. It's not as gangster. get on it. It's not as cool. Yeah, <laughs> you just don't. You don't drop a book. <laughs> you you place I, a book I re- down. I, re- I, released I released a book. It. I released a book. You release yeah. a book. Unfortunately, I wish I could say we dropped a book. I was born in '89. Shows I watched when I was a kid. I I only remember like I was a big TGIF guy. Uh, I don't what? know if T- you guys remember TGIF on TV. No. Oh, I'm I am 89 years old. <laughs> <laughs> I am 89 years old. Um, the, yeah, the show Dinosaurs was on there. Okay, where, yeah. Where, yeah. Yeah. Dinosaurs were, was scary, bro. Uh, Not the mama. Yeah. Terrible. Yeah. Terrible. <laughs> dinosaurs was scary. Like, they look... The baby dinosaur? Yeah. It was nightmare. like... It was so cute at first, but then it's like the more you watched it, it felt like a nightmare, and it just felt like, I can't were, escape What did this. it sound... Didn't it sound like a... Yeah, the, ba- the, the baby, baby did, yeah. A little yeah. higher pitch than that. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, that's pretty there. That's good. <laughs> but it would say, not to mama. <laughs> and it would hit the dad with the frying pan. It would pan. bite forever, right? Like, it would bite like crazy. <laughs> it bit forever. for a long like, time. Just that, was, that was its character. <laughs> <laughs> this is going on forever. <laughs> <laughs> like a Gila monster. Never let go. Yeah. Uh, there was, a, there was uh, an episode of Dinosaurs that was like a drug PSA. I'm dead serious. And it, because TGIF uh, was on on Friday nights, it stood for thank goodness but they use the other word no it's friday (laughs) (laughs) and it was like at the time like all the content had to have a message like there had to be like a like a moral this is like Mm. say by the bell era Mm -hmm. where like it you couldn't just do a show that was silly you had to like have a point wrap up at the end yeah yeah somebody had to learn something so the the teenage boy dinosaur got into like the drug like a plant that all his friends were (laughs) were doing he started doing it it was a drug psa and it was even as a kid it was such a surreal moment of like these are fake dinosaur (laughs) people wearing human clothes Teaching me about drugs. Like uh, <laughs> land before times. Like, dude, you got to stop smoking that, that star leaf, bro. It's I can't. Like, and how do you think the dinosaurs got extinct? We drugs. Drugs. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, we need to teach these kids um, to not do drugs. So let's all do drugs and write down every idea we have. <laughs> and that's what came out of that it works out. writing retreat. Uh-oh. The whole show was really culminating. So I watched TJF. I was a big, we actually, I, I was a big Boy Meets World guy. Yeah. I l- really enjoyed, I don't know why I connected with Boy Meets World so much, but I liked Boy Meets World a lot. I think I've seen all of those. Um, what else was on there? Sabrina the Teenage Witch was on there. Yikes. Um, so yeah, you're like, I feel like, because you're, you're technically a millennial, correct? Yeah, or, I think I'm like yeah. a geriatric millennial. Yeah, yeah, you're at, you're at the brink. I'm at the top, the top end. Yeah, mm. people see the '80 and they're like, "Oh, born in the '80s," and I'm yeah. like, I, I, for, for "Just for a brief moment, I was in the '80s." A whisper. Do you, do you like? Because a lot of people that get uh, born in the end of the '90s love to say like, "Like I'm a '90s baby," like the '99. Like, yeah, no, you're not. It's annoying. Is it the same thing? For, were you like, "I'm totally an '80s kid," or oh, was it like, no, oh, "You no, no, born no. '90s"? No, I'm. Uh, yeah, the '90s were the time that I recall. Yeah, VH1 had that great segment for a while. I don't know if they're doing that. I love the. I love the '80s. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mm-hmm. love the '90s, mm-hmm. and I like. I remember watching the '80s, being like, I was born. I lived through. I was cool. And '80, <laughs> an '80, a singular '80. Um, <laughs> I was like, I don't know any of this. What was? I don't know what was going on at that time. So no, I was definitely a '90s kid. Um, and yeah, the, the TGIF was where I got most of my, we didn't have cable. Uh, that was like a big, Same. we were like, when we I the, went to the three stations. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. And that's a, um, TGIF was on ABC. Mm. So we got that. I got that through rabbit ears. Oh, this yeah. is, you only had cable. I didn't have cable. You didn't have anything. No, we had the, the antenna. We oh, got the okay, three got stations. It. Mm-hmm. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. It's, it honestly feel like Josh and I tell Telling the story right now. Do I call him Josh in this? Can yeah. I call him Josh? Okay. Yeah. No, that's, that's, that's no, 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 no. That's my name. 
<laughs> okay, I honestly thought I just ruined Wait, wh- something. Are we playing a character right now? <laughs> Wait, you just broke the fourth wall. I'm so sorry. Who am I? You look down your dog. <laughs> what? If I that was confusing to me. I'm like, am I Josh? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. What are we doing? <laughs> just have a stroke. I just like slowly just disappear. <laughs> no one's there, Mr. Anthony. Stark. I don't feel so good. <laughs> Um. Oh man, the panic that just hit me. Like you guys are joking <laughs> about it, but it was really real. Um. Yeah. So when we talk about like, like this was our lifetime. We're not like ancient people, but we talk about watching TV via a like rabbit ear device that you like clicked. Yeah. So that it would go to the next station. You're like, that was not that long ago. Yeah. And now yeah, I, th- like, I hear ten years ago. I think 2002. Still. Yeah. Like, you're like, oh, what, like, so, like, this was, like, popular. Like, what was the style 10 years ago? You're right. Like, oh, yeah, like, high-waisted jeans, all these things, uh, you know, bleach tips and all that. The it's war like, on terror. The war on terror. <laughs> <laughs> that was really... 10 that years was, ago. That was really trending. It was, like, super, <laughs> super popular. A lot of people were into that. <laughs> I am i don't know about you. Are, are you in the war on terror? <laughs> mm, I don't know. I uh, thought about it, but... Yeah, and that's so last September. No, I'm watching Friends. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Boo. I apologize. I know. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> you're, are you an you're an improv guy, right, Anthony? I am. Do you break a lot in improv? I am. Yeah, I I, I used to. Are you uh, the Jimmy Fallon? A lot of, more. Yeah, I was. I group? hated that designation too. That's so funny you say that. I used to get told by our like crew. Mm-hmm. Um, that I was like the Jimmy Fallon was like my comp, and I hate when I tell you guys I hated it. I was yeah. like, oh, I personally love the people that break in improv, though. They're actually my favorite. Improv yeah, guys. as long as it's well, not done too much. Yeah, Jimmy Fallon. I feel like like I don't. I wasn't living in that era. Like right. I wasn't watching that era, but I've just the stereotype with every skit. It's like okay, you can't do it. And Jimmy every Fallon. Skit. If Jimmy Fallon, if you're watching this, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. We, we love your if, work. If he's watching, he is. Jimmy Fallon, you're watching this. We love your work, but your improv. But he got to work on it. According to Andy, it was not, and Anthony, well, not ideal. I was, gonna, you, you I was at the beginning of my arc with that, but um, at the time I was very like, put my nose up at a lot of like comedy because I was like really getting into it and I was mm. like, oh, this is really good. I was just telling somebody, I used to be like down on Jack Black all the time. I was like, oh, Jack Black with the school of rock and all this. And now I'm like, that guy's so funny. He's what was the best. wrong with me? What was wrong with me? Yeah. And Jimmy Fallon's another one. I'm like, he is funny. Well, they're kind of like they're to me. They're like uh, Jimmy was us, like mm-hmm. the viewers. When we're when he's in a hot tub with Will Ferrell and yeah. uh, the Welshly Arms, oh, and he man. can't he yeah. can't help it. You're like, thank you, Jimmy. Yeah. I always feel like improv and and even sketch like that happens on a stage. Like for me, you want to be in it. You want to be your character. You want to like do your do the scene right. Yeah. But there's a little bit of like a Renaissance fair bit to it. Like I want you to believe you're a knight. But if I'm really trying to find the bathroom, I don't want you being like, oh, what is a bathroom? <laughs> I've never heard of that. <laughs> Explain. Like, can you break a bring character? Bring me take a bath. <laughs> <laughs> we do that in the river. <laughs> Not Put a here. river in a in a room. Can you break character for me for just two <laughs> seconds? Because I'm going to pee my pants if you don't, Sir Sir William, whatever your name is. We all want that person to just, okay, it's over there. It's yeah. over there. Also, catch the joust <laughs> at high noon. Look out what? for the plague. Watch out for the witches. <laughs> <laughs> don't get caught. There was... uh. Do you know in that Jimmy Fallon sketch that Will Ferrell apparently was like pinching and like rubbing his like Jimmy Fallon's leg with his feet? Oh, that's and so perfect. you go back and watch it. It's the greatest thing because you can tell like Jimmy's like gives him the eye. Yeah, when they're not even talking, and yeah. it's just the per like I was like that's amazing. The fact yeah. that like the fact that they fed into it. They're like I'm gonna try to break this person. Like there's right. Yeah, it's 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 so good. Yeah, no, and I and Jimmy getting like the the Tonight Show, he's so funny. Like it just yeah, yeah. There was definitely an era when I was like choosing that I really do like comedy. It's something I'm gonna like take seriously. That I had this like really, um, I don't know. I guess like if you've ever met someone who like just started seminary and they're mm. like impossible to be around because kind of borderline arrogant. They're so <laughs> actually just arrogant, just not borderline. straight up arrogant. You know that verse actually in Latin? Do you know what it means? And you're no, like, because no one speaks Latin. Chet, I don't know what it means in Latin. I don't, and I'm not pretty sure the Bible wasn't even written in Latin. But 
that was me in yeah. comedy. I was really down on on what I thought mm. was like cheap comedy, lesser comedy. Mm. Yeah, but you've grown. Yeah, I've grown now. And no longer a gatekeeper of humor. Now my kid like farts at the dinner table, and I'm like, "That's it, dude. We killing peaked. it. <laughs> that we should is take you on the road. Peak comedy. I love farting. You do. You do. Yeah, actually, farting. yesterday we were filming a, a, a one of our Wednesday videos, and we were at a church. <laughs> and I just, I felt yeah. comfortable. I was up on the stage. Yeah. And it was just Andy and Andrew in the room. And I just let one rip. Yeah. And the <laughs> cleaning lady walked in like mid, it was like a, like a good four second fart. Yeah. And she goes, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I said, <laughs> I said, the fact that she had to apologize. <laughs> That's actually what me and Lily were talking about because she <laughs> talked about when she gave birth. After she gave birth, I don't know if this is for every woman, but she just couldn't stop farting. <laughs> and she said she Lily, felt. Lily told this to you? Yeah. What, when she said it to you, did she say, like, please go on a podcast and tell everybody about that? Tell well, the whole world? Well, they know now. Well, her whole, thing, her whole thing was, like, she just wished the nurses would laugh. Oh, and I said, I, that's, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. No one, like, Lily, you're probably the only person that would appreciate a laugh from a fart. <laughs> right. After giving birth. Yeah. And... So she said our next birthday coming up, she's going to tell the nurses before, if I fart, please laugh. It's going to make me feel more comfortable. So Just forced laughter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I was supposed to say that. No, you definitely it's, were not. It's on there now. It's okay. My wife farted after birth. Yep. Like a Double, lot. He's doubling you were, <laughs> pretty you were very clear that it I was, was happening all the I time. I was laughing. Um, she was laughing. That's good support. That's what you're supposed to do. Mm-hmm. When you walk into that delivery room, you're supposed to support your wife yeah. in every aspect. Including the fart. But I'm with Josh on this. Like, I wish... I'm uh, Constantly, I'm trying to catch my wife farting, and she <laughs> and she won't ever own up to it. I have a I have a worse story, though. It's, like, one of my, like, lower points in my life. I was doing an improv show. Please. And um, there was, like, a... It was a particular game where you had to, like, take on these attributes. And it was, like... We did it, like, pretty frequently. It was one of our, like, you know, kind of calling card ones. And I had to be gassy. And I that was, like, my thing. But and I knew I had like a real fart, like not too far off. <laughs> you were method acting <laughs> at that point. I'm sorry. So usually you kind of like you know you're like, oh sorry, oh sorry. And I was like, this will be different because we were doing a show every Friday at that point. It was I'm like committing. I, there's one like kind of close. I wonder if I can. Kind of shimmy it. Down. Just wiggle it out. Is that the what you do before you fart? <laughs> You're just like, you know, very business oriented. Lily yeah. gets it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> she does. And so, uh, so I <laughs> get down there. I'm doing the scene and I fart. I actively fart <laughs> loudly on stage. But it's like, a, it's no, I'm, a, I'm a human being. So I don't fart like an elephant or yeah. anything. So it was like the first couple rows heard it <laughs> and they were like, Ah. Kind of a mix of like, oh, and then like Confusion a couple for the background. You kind of heard <laughs> like, them, the third row go, I think he just farted <laughs> to the row behind them. And immediately I was like, this was not a good idea. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? <laughs> I just, I'm scared. <laughs> there was somebody <laughs> cleaning in the back who was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I've, I've, that that's amazing. I love that. That's Have a true you, story. I really I had to live with that after the show, and I was like shaking terrible. people's hands out the door. Thank you for coming. Sorry, I farted. By the way, that was why it was so awkward. Thank you for coming. That Bye. was part of my character. I just like when if you, if you did hear me fart, that was part of my character. And so, if you didn't, that, I, 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 like, I, didn't, I didn't hear you fart. Oh, okay. yeah. It's like one of those. In this moment, I'm Hulk Hogan. In this moment, I'm Terry Bollea kind of things. Like I wasn't. That wasn't Anthony that farted. That, that was, was gassy. That was. Gassy, gassy Gary. That was, I was acting. It's acting. That's what it is. There was a Josh, the quote, the video uh, Josh just quoted. It's this, what is she? Like? She's like eight years old. And yeah. She's like it's filming. Like, this is, it was like this old vine where this is little eight year old girl like filming herself. And she let one rip. She was like, she's a little, she's like, did you guys hear that? I'm scared. <laughs> Because she like, was just doing, she's like, that wasn't me. She was just doing like a tutorial or something, and then she just accidentally ripped one. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> so that's so, my new thing. Whenever I fart, I go, did you guys hear that? <laughs> I'm scared. In the middle of the work day. Just, <laughs> oh, man. It's the best. It is. So as good. a content creator, 
It is so difficult to live with the reality that just if you kept a camera on an eight-year-old at mm-hmm. all times, the content they would give is so much better yeah. Yeah. than anything. Yeah. It's we, so pure and it's so like reactionary. Right. It's so funny. Also in animals, like little kids and animals, I'm always looking at like, I respect you, but I, I'm also like, <laughs> you make my craft a lot harder, just so you know. <laughs> little baby panda sneezes and the internet breaks. <laughs> Anthony works on writing a video for 10 years. And it bombs. And there, it's a TikTok. So people are like, Anthony, it's <laughs> seven seconds long. Will you please? Just, and I'm like, no, it's not perfect yet. People are going to be watching this and like, yeah, you dropped a book <laughs> yesterday and I haven't even heard anything about it. <laughs> and it's funny, like when I look at like uh, when I came home yesterday, it was the funniest thing. My four-year-old, uh, you know, a dad's dream to come home is... The kids running to you, just daddy's home and just running and hugging and everything like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. That hasn't happened in a while because they're just getting old, not older, which is a bummer. But yeah, um, it's one of those funny things. When I walked in, my four year old and my seven year old, they look at me like, and then Debbie's like, "Yay, daddy's home!" And then my <laughs> my four year old just goes, "Yay, daddy's home! <laughs> I can't believe it! Wow!" But she was obviously joking. She was looking at me for a reaction. I was like, who are you? (laughs) I was like, one, get out of my face, pal. Also, two, really proud of you. That's really funny. That's a good joke. Yeah, it's good. My kid just eats dog poop. So, yeah. Well, she's she'll she's you know she's eight, so she'll grow out of it. I'm sure at one point. <laughs> she's sixteen. <laughs> she's so. sixteen. It's cool. 16. It's just a phase. Yeah, she's only yeah. eighteen months though, right? Yeah. She loves being outside mm-hmm. and loves dirt and mud and dog poop and dog poop. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I stopped Demi from eating dog poop, no cow poop, uh, when she was two, and she threw herself on the ground towards the cow poop and cried because I was depriving her of actual eating. Yeah. The story of Ada, my daughter, eating dog poop was a really funny story. Oh, like, yeah. So, like, I was situation. sitting inside, and my wife was outside with our daughter, <laughs> and she comes rushing in. She's just going, <laughs> and, like, throws the sink on and, like, literally, like, puts my daughter in the sink with the faucet just, like, on her face. And she's just holding her like that. She's going, <laughs> I'm like, what's happening? What's happening? She's going, she's going, <laughs> I'm like, what's up? And she's like, she don't <laughs> And so I had to run over there and, like, scoop it out of her mouth. Oh, terrible. It was in. terrible. Oh, she, she you know, fully... Oh, Put it in her no. mouth. No. Yep. That's bad parenting. She can only walk backwards now, so I don't, <laughs> she know, can only I don't walk. know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> She's missing a finger she for some reason. I don't only walk backwards now. <laughs> yeah. So that was um, both scarring and funny. Yeah, that's a, that's poop is a, a difficult thing. I've always wanted to do the. Uh, I've <laughs> thanks for going oh, more. I was yeah. hoping we'd go more in. Yeah, that was, I, I took the, the poop farts. and I started running. <laughs> But I always wanted to do, and maybe you can pull it on Louie, just make sure she doesn't watch this, but I always thought it would be funny to do a prank where you melt a bunch of chocolate oh, yeah, into a and diaper, and then you just have your kid just eat the melted chocolate with their hands, and you know it's going to make oh, a mess, yeah, so whenever good. the mom comes home, that's good. it's just you know terrifying. I think that's like a baby shower game. I think it's like a common baby shower game. Is they it? They melt a candy bar into a diaper, and then you have to guess what the candy bar is. Oh. Yeah. And one of them is actually poop. And oh, they- nice. <laughs> Ta- we have to taste test each one. It's Who flaked. got the poop? It's like, it's like, it's I it. did. This sucks. <laughs> I hate this game. <laughs> Why did you invite me? It's like a baby shower games, but they're like squid games edition. <laughs> <laughs> Three people died. Who got the But it was a great time. <laughs> Who, this is a picture of one of the guests as a baby, and they're like, it's terrified to guess. <laughs> Oh my god! I don't oh want to do this anymore. Man. This seems like a weird game. You have to guess the weight, or you die. Um, Sunday cool. Sunday cool. We work for Sunday cool. Yes, we do, and we do custom apparel and a ton of other things that you don't necessarily have to wear, but we'll print it and we'll give it to you because you want it for your group or your organization. Sundaycool.com. Sundaycool.com. All your custom apparel needs, we do it super fast, and we do on the super cool stuff like super soft tees with super soft prints. How many times can I say super? At One least six. More. Super. Sundaycool.com. And this phone number. Add over. <clears throat> 
So, Anthony, speaking of poop. <laughs> I just was in my head. I was like, oh, we've been doing the fart bit for a while. Andy's changing us direction. That, that, that was, was like that was one of the things uh, when I went to Christian college, Ozark Christian College in Joplin, Missouri. Their orientation for the dorm floor. Everyone got in um, in the dorm in the hallway, and we circled up. And everyone, it was mandatory. Mm-hmm. Poop. Give your name. Oh, yeah. Bring your poop. <laughs> uh, bring a bag of poop. You have to. Uh, we so sat down. School. You have to say your name, where you're from, <laughs> yeah. what you're going to school for, and how often and you, you poop. To, and you have to tell oh. a poop story. Oh, really? And it was everyone. And some people had. I was like, I was like. A- epic poop stories and i was like i don't have an epic really? poop story yet i don't I, and i think ep- i have an epic poop story i think by kind of yeah i think by the time we die at least you have to have at least one and i, I haven't hit mine yet and that's both exciting and terrifying because it could be any day but what's i want to know is are we allowed Do you to have, have an poop epic talk poop story here? well we are you said are we allowed poop talk on here i, I don't know I we don't talked know. about poop for so, so we do not have wait, much wait before I we talked about my daughter eating poop my wife farting during we birth we don't have much else at this point <laughs> i we gotta roll with it yeah. Best with <laughs> um, my poop story, my epic poop story was I did a mission trip to China <clears throat> when I was in high school and we went to this one town and the group we were with, it was probably like 40 people. Where was it? China. China. Yeah. Uh, in okay. Southern China, um, close to Vietnam. But this town we were in, we were... Wait. You want to miss this is like a high school mission trip you went on? Yeah, it was with the church I was with at the time. And we like went over there for like, um, it was like uh, for like a soccer league kind of thing. Cause like the majority of the church played soccer. Oh. So like we would go to like different schools and stuff. So this and is play one soccer. of those where you had like Christian stuff going on, but you were like, yeah, when you were at the airport, you had to like hype up your soccer. Yeah. 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 You were like, so really like the, overacting. we got in with soccer. Yeah. And then now I gotcha. We would meet with like underground. Yeah. I thought and stuff. the old switcheroo. Right. Gotcha. The old soccer. communism. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> China's going to extradite you. To <laughs> it China. was always a funny thing where they were like, Hey guys, don't lie. Don't ever tell a lie. You're going on a mission trip and you're all soccer stars. <laughs> yes, <exactly. laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> um, but anyways, so we were in China and yeah. this town we were in, we were like the, largest group of white people to ever visit this town and there's like 40 of us mm-hmm. and so the mayor of this town oh, like wow. brought us around and like it was his like favorite spot to eat and what you would call a hole in the wall mm-hmm. but for china <laughs> and yeah it's just a hole <laughs> we walk in and the first thing you're met with is they're chopping up dogs cool they just have dogs. We've got Labrador. We're talking they, to they're, Shih Tzu. Actually, Golden Retrievers Golden are like Retrievers. the thing Stop. to eat. I'm dead serious. There's like this whole organization that rescues Golden Retrievers and dogs from China. Oh, no. So we walk in. The big old meat cleaver chopping up dogs. They're just like skinned and like hanging up, mm-hmm. hanging up on the wall. <clears throat> We're walking up the stairs and it stinks. And... This this is going to get graphic. So if you if you if you're squeamish, maybe stop listening. Also, like sir, that, if you own a golden retriever, yeah, I like probably that stop now watching. Now is when we make that. I, I'm always bad at that, like the spoiler <laughs> thing. Like dogs everywhere. yeah, there's a bunch of skinned, maimed golden retrievers on the wall. Let yeah, me pause here to say, Scout buddy, <laughs> all they had the dog color. You mean no still, comment from Full House? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So we're walking up the stairs, and there's puke on the wall. Oh. Like someone, and so you're like, cool, yeah. this is going to be a really awesome place to eat. We get up there. And, and, the pu- was, and the puke's not the source of the smell, which is also a problem. It added to it. <laughs> yeah, it was a, definitely. It's like, oh, this puke makes sense. No, it, that's not it. That's, that's not, not the telltale That's actually sign. not the smell. It's That's been here for a while. Um, so we get up there, and you know, like different cultures and stuff, it's like really rude to like refuse Yeah, food. of course. Yeah. We sit down, and it's just, it's a bowl this big of just brown broth. And it's just like, oh, no. And they give you a plate of rice or a bowl of rice. And you scoop the meats and the stew into the thing. And it was dog. Yeah, dog soup. And the (laughs) – Don't say dog soup. Like that's a dish. The so classic like, dog I soup. Think, I was trying to think of something. So you're clever. on the Food Network, like, oh yeah, dog soup. Today oh we're, yeah, so today we're gonna making dog soup. <laughs> today we're making a uh, a nice bowl of Labrador bisque. <laughs> Sit. <laughs> and now we start. Um. So, anyways, we get up there, 
And it was interesting because each table had a different part of the dog. My table had the dog stomach in it. And so I was able to eat dog intestines. Good. My mom's table, my mom and dad's table, they just had this big old ladle. She pulled it up and it was just a, um, <laughs> why would you say the male anatomy of a, yeah, I don't know. Okay. Yeah. That's what it was. This is your, and, that was your mom's table. Yeah. They didn't eat that. Uh, they just, I think, tried to yeah. find bits that's, of meat. That's terrible. Within the stew. Anyways, just trying to find the just the, like just little piece because it had like a bunch of random stuff. The, le- I, the lesser evil is what you're looking so for. It's so jarring yeah. to me that we haven't gotten to what started the story. <laughs> right. So we all had to partake in it. And but the guy kind of leading our mission, he's like, just take like just t- take a bite and just yeah. kind of move your stuff around. So like it looks like you ate a right. lot. <laughs> and everyone classic move. Every single person yeah. got sick. And so I what so when I went there, I brought my like longboard skateboard with me. Yeah. And I would just do that just around the towns we would go to. And I was going, I was probably 10 minutes from our hotel. And it just, boom. And, and it, what you like, China in certain parts, well, they the majority have like the squatty potties, you know? Mm-hmm. And I don't know if have you ever used a squatty potty? Where it's just, it's no toilet. It's the toilet's oh, oh, in the oh. ground. I thought you were talking about the thing that. Oh, no. I'm is talking in my bathroom now where it lifts your knees a bit. Yeah, no, that's. <laughs> That'd be extremely convenient. Because I be have fun. used, I, I would use love one of those. It. No, I can hardly go without it. It's a hole in the ground, basically, mm. and um, it's very hard. Is it enclosed? A lot of places did not have doors, which made yeah. it very interesting. And they also don't flush your toilet paper. No, good. They put it in a trash can. Anyways, longboarding, just you. The yeah, and yeah. And I'm like, no, panic, no. panic. As fast as you're I ten could. minutes away from home. 10 minutes away from yeah. the hotel. Yeah. I mean, I ditched the group. I'm by myself in this town in China, longboarding. These people have never seen someone ride a longboard, so they're all like, whoa! Like, so, like, the, like they're treating you like so a celebrity. Like yeah, this, you're like a yeah. hero. This little white boy on a skateboard going down. And Can't like, talk right now, bye! Cutting off cars and stuff. And um, they're like, ah! I mean, it was like elevator. End of story. <laughs> And That's it, real. Just panic. Dumb and dumber. Just panic. Poop. Elevator? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Terrible. That's amazing. That's an so amazing that's, poop story. That's my poop story. That's really good. Was that too long? That no, was, that, that wasn't was a, too that long That was like a 10-minute poop story. <laughs> <laughs> to, to be fair, the poop didn't show up until the last end, so it was really, People are gonna it was really just a China and dog food story. Yeah. There, yeah, I kept, there were so many layers to it. Yeah, yeah we, it we were, I was just in fix, you know, fixated on the Chihuahua chowder. Yeah. You were diving into mm-hmm. amazing people though in China. Yeah. Really, really I, awesome people. I want to nice. know when you're there in that context and you're you're like doing soccer, how much are you hamming that up? Like are you regularly like, you know, gotta gotta cross it in to get the headers. Am I right, guys? Like are you casually how how no. often do you feel compelled to drop your soccer uh intentions? No, they they set it up through um what do you call them? The um, people like for shows, like when you go to a city, like a, an on location other, kind of, yeah, like, no, it's the people that like basically schedule everything for you in that country. Okay. I forget what the term is called. I know I what you're saying. Yeah. I, I feel yeah. I get what you're saying though. So that's what we did. We set up, um, <clears throat> soccer games with like different colleges and stuff, but that you was, were playing against the college. Yeah. Oh, and nice. we got destroyed every single time. They also don't have a lot of the places we like literally are playing on like gravel and it was not fun. But um yeah, they didn't really check in on you that much when yeah. you're over there. But I I think it was at this point in time in China it was kind of more tame, like not as crack the whip kind of thing. Oh, I got you. Know? you. But recently it's gotten like way worse over there. Like we have missionary friends over there. And they've been there for like twelve years. Okay. And so they're one of our connections over there. But it's gotten so bad that they're having to move back to the States after 12 years of being there. Oh, wow. So it's getting pretty intense. Yeah. Scary. Scary I, stuff. I just always felt like I would, I would, I'm such a nervous person that if I went oh. in under a false pretense, like I can't even get our kid into Disney when our kid's not three. Like yeah. you got to be three and our kid's four. I'm like the worst. I'm it like, was cool though. He's four. He's, he's three. 
We're they're like we didn't. No one's asking you, right? We're like randomly getting like popcorn. I don't even work He's here. He's three years talking? old. Did you know my kid's three? They're like, yeah. I I didn't I didn't wonder, but okay. I'm hey, yelling well, it at everybody. Yeah, just like you're just like looking like, hey, where's my three year old Sam? <laughs> uh, Has anybody seen a kid three? Who's definitely three years old? <laughs> Is it under three? Dude, I walked my kid in there when he was like four and a half. And we had a moment at the Disney thing because we had bought passes and like, no, nah, it was just, it was, the timing was terrible. The kid was obviously not the age we were saying he was. And the person looked at me and said, like, he's two, like, and just stared at me. <laughs> he's and two? I was like, yeah. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> yeah, that's the, see, that's the loophole. You always ask them with the questions. It's like, is he two? <laughs> Is, is he, he two? <laughs> what do you think? You just repeat it. Yeah. yeah just, is he again, two? I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't mean to. I didn't, I, no, 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 no. He's, yo, so you think I'm lying? <laughs> so you think I'm lying? <laughs> this is a real question I'm asking you. Do you think I'm lying? Because <laughs> if you say yes, I will cower down and I will pay. <laughs> That's where I was at. I literally am getting like my, my wallet out. Like, I'm how sad, so would, how sad would that moment be? Like, is he, is he two? You're like, no, I ain't. <laughs> it's not like okay. This is the, one of well, I got caught in an awkward situation. Nowhere near as intense as that, but it was at like an Outback Steakhouse in Joplin one time, and we were eating. And uh, this is terrible. This is Joplin, know, Missouri? This, yeah, Joplin, Missouri. And this is a long That's time. That's a ago. nice is, Outback. Thank you. It is very nice. You know it. it everyone's but you. You haven't been. <laughs> I haven't. You haven't. But you've been. It's it's very good. And uh, <laughs> I love. How I added preference like, oh, it's the one in Joplin, by the way. Um, and we're sitting down. <laughs> And it was like 10 years ago, so forgive me, but the waiter had a really, really nice pen. I was like, this is a nice pen, Kels. Look at this. And she's like, she's like oh, it is nice. I'm like, I'm going to hold on to it. So and they no gave you joke. the pen to sign your yes, bill. Yes, and I gave the tip and everything, and no joke. I He came, he said, thanks, and grabbed the check and walked away. And he, then he came back, he's like, yeah, my pen. <laughs> and I was like... <laughs> No, usually I pride myself on trying to be quick or like, you know, like improv, right? Dude, I froze <laughs> and I grabbed it and I just went like this. Oh, no. And then he grabbed, he said, thank you, and walked away. And I'm still to this day, I feel shame over it. Yeah. And it was like, that is the dumbest you thing. <laughs> so much, so, you I, you're, like, you're like, no, oh, I don't. He's like, I saw you put it in I your mean, pocket. Like, I literally have it here. You signed it. <laughs> You there just, has to be a pen you just here. Just commit to it, like, bro. Do I have? Why your, would I? Do steal I? Your why pen? have you a pen? Well, I have this video of you stealing my pen. <laughs> yes, I don't, what, the, what is that? What is that? Hi, my name is John Kenyon. Yeah, so what I was would, just you gonna say, <laughs> would you do? No. Steal? I, I. That is like my life. Like yeah. I, I'm really jealous of people that like just really coolly get away with things. My wife is one of these people. Like she can. She literally, she just walks. There's like, don't enter. She just walks in. Yeah. She just, everything goes super smooth for her. All my friends growing up, like, it was just cool. One time we're at church camp, and, like, uh, I was dating my now wife, and uh, and my buddy, there's, like, a girl cabin, and guys weren't allowed in. Mm -hmm. My buddy walks in eight steps in front of me, just walks in. Like, we were seniors or something. We were, like, getting ready to go. It wasn't, like, anything devious. Yeah. And I was like, oh, cool. So I start walking in, and they're like, hey, Anthony, <laughs> you go in that cabin. <laughs> So this, the worst case of it was we were moving into our house, this, the, our, our house we live in now, we gutted, like it was, it was a, it was a disaster. There's like mm -hmm. a million stories of that whole process. But one of them was we didn't have a garbage for a long time. So my in-laws neighbors were moving mm -hmm. and they had sold the house and they were moving and they were gone. And so my mother-in-law was like, just take their garbage to your house. We live in the same city. The garbage cans? The garbage, the rolly garbage Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. I'm gutting the house, right? So I have all this trash, and I have this tiny, not on wheels trash can. Mm -hmm. So she's like, just take the garbage to your house. Then when the new people move in, they'll call the city. The city will be like, oh, there's no trash can, no problem. They'll bring a trash can. Easy peasy. Simple. I'm like, that makes a lot of sense. And I am like <laughs> so exhausted carrying this trash everywhere. Like, whatever. So I... I sure enough i like go over i get the wheelie bin i put it in my car i drive it to my house and i'm like this is really handy i'm like throwing all this trash i can now wheel it around to the road and things like that and then uh i do all that i work we were living at my in-laws at the time i'm driving back and there's her neighbor and she's standing out in front of her house and she's just looking every direction and my heart just sinks and i pull up next to her and i roll oh. the window down and i'm like hey carol what's going on missing anything she's like oh <laughs> hey anthony thank 
thanks for asking. It's the weirdest thing. My trash bin is gone. Oh, no. I just came to do a last check, and it's been a hard year, and we've had a <laughs> lot to get in order for this house to be sold, and I just don't want anything to make it fall through, and there's no trash can, and I just don't know what could have happened. And I was like, Carol, I have to tell you. <laughs> I'm sorry, Carol. <laughs> I took your trash can. <laughs> Also, my Labrador's missing. I have no idea. <laughs> oh, no. I like, Communism. I have some oh, bad no. news for you, Carol. I will go get it right uh, now and bring it back. And so I did. I'm covered in dirt and crap because we were, we've were we been working on the house all day. I bring the bin back, and I'm like, I, I'm really sorry, Carol. And she's like, it's okay. I just think it's really weird that you stole a trash can. <laughs> <laughs> she just completely ruined your relationship. I was she's like... like I also think it's really weird that I stole a trash can, if that helps at all. You are not alone in thinking that, Carol. (laughs) We both are doing a lot of soul searching right now, Carol. Uh, We're we're all trying to figure out some stuff right now. (laughs) You think you're dealing with a lot. I just stole a trash can. That's so you know what? Shut up. I'm not giving you this trash can back anymore. (laughs) Also, I work at the church around the road if you want to come Sunday morning. We'd love to have you. Yeah. Oh, oh, man, that's man. good. Awesome. Before we leave, um, should we try the smelling salts? Oh, my God. You've done yes. it once, but yes. do we want Anthony and me to do it? <laughs> yes. Anthony, <laughs> Anthony you, would you, you, would you be down? Do you want to try smelling salts? I want to try to do it without trying to make a face whatsoever. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I'm telling it. Okay. You know, the, the normal way you finish a podcast. Can I just tell the people at home that I texted Annie and Josh a couple of times leading up to this, like, what do you think we'll talk about on the podcast? <laughs> and, and we he, asked them, we asked you, any what do you think? Thoughts of what we'll talk about on the podcast? And we landed on nothing. We mostly covered dog soup, <laughs> farts, poop, and we'll end on the, on the smelling salts. Yeah. yeah. Um, Are you going to do it again? No. Josh did it yesterday. He was supposed to wait for you guys, the viewers. <laughs> My fear was I would do it on here and mm-hmm. be not able to finish. That's why we're going to do it at the end. <sighs> and okay. I, I wouldn't be able to You're going to be jacked for the ride home. Uh, I have water here. Do you have do to you, add water every need, single do time? Do you need water? You have to add a uh, thing of water. Oh my goodness. This is smelling salt. This is what they do like on the side of football games when guys are a little out of it. Yeah, and also yeah, in and war. Yeah, and also in war. <laughs> like, hey, you need you need the fuel to kill somebody? You got shot in the yeah, lake? Here, dude, kids. <laughs> oh! Is that the primary? <laughs> what is What are smelling salts? I, they it was, it was, I looked it up, and yeah. it's been used medicinally since the 13th century. And the um, only side effects are um, dizziness, vomiting, and diarrhea. But none of that happened to me yesterday. I just cried. Yeah. <laughs> but people, but that wasn't but, a side effect. Military I'm people just going would through use some stuff. Mili- <laughs> <laughs> that had nothing to do with this film. <laughs> I'm just going through a lot. I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I, mean, I mean, things are just rough at home. So I just. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, Andy <laughs> wants to do it. I just want to do it because I've never done it before. And also, I think it'd be a good way to end the podcast. Okay. So you put so some I just take water a, in I, there? I just take a big whiff. Not a don't big don't, don't I'm do not, big no, whiff. Do big whiff. And don't put your nose. Ammonia. Okay. Like times a million. Okay. And so it's just intense. Yeah. Oh, gosh. You I had a, smell it. You had a tremendous allergic reaction to something yesterday that you don't know what it is. So I trust you. The thing is, I already smell it. It, it's just like okay, if no. a cat peed in your nose. That's kind of like what it is. All right, no. Okay. You open. Don't don't do big whiff. Okay, I'm trying to just do no it, face. Like right no here. face. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> oh. Andy, where did you go? <laughs> he just went to the. You just went somewhere. He went to a multiverse. <laughs> <laughs> I'm smelling colors right now. <laughs> oh my goodness! Why can't I smell it the only, color red? It only went up one nostril too. Oh. You only breathe out of one nostril at a time. Oh, that's true. That is true. Oh my goodness! That was a wonderful. That was that was crazy. <laughs> that seems inefficient. Oh man, you want to try it? Yeah. Don't, okay, not a, don't do big whiffs. Right, I won't do a bit. Did you do? You didn't do a big whiff, did you? No, I just. Okay. Just a quick. Don't don't put your. Just listen. Hey, listen to what I did. Listen to what I did. Mm-hmm. You you, you hear that? <laughs> oh man, that is intense. Bottled insanity. 
is the name of this? Try do hey, your best to not make a face. We urge anyone watching this, don't do this oh, without okay. um, a it's professional. A, it's a Canadian. Golly. It's, it's a Canadian. Or without an audience. That's product. insane. That does wake you up, though. Andrew is actually medically trained, so that's why the only okay. reason we could do this. Right. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. No face. Here we go. Maybe you got to smell more. I don't think I inhaled enough. <laughs> there it was. His whole there it was. <laughs> oh, man. His whole body took a screenshot. Just <laughs> <laughs> do it. <laughs> you see the jolt? Right up one side of my face. Oh, that's perfect. Oh. Anthony, thanks for coming <laughs> on the podcast, man. Oh, man. <laughs> He's now an honorary ninja. Oh. Not really, but... In our yeah. in our hearts, <laughs> yeah. This is great. Yeah, we'll have this dog soup fun. next time you come. Oh my yeah. god! <laughs> Speaking of dog soup, have you heard of the eighty seven thousand employees that the IRS is hiring? <laughs> <laughs> join Tune us next join week. us next week where I break that down because it's kind of it's scary and I know nothing about it, so I'm looking forward to be educated. But we love you, Anthony. How are you feeling? No, I feel good. <laughs> I think if I was like. L like mildly concussed on an NFL sideline, I'd be ready to go in. And this is the the scary thing with that though. On a post, it, they literally said when I read the medical thing of the purpose of smelling salts, athletics, like they'll use it if someone gets a concussion uh -huh. and they're feeling dizzy and dazed, yeah. they'll do that to where they regain focus. Right. It's like that's terrible. Yeah. It's like you got hit, your brain's bleeding. Here, <gasps> <gasps> I'm good. <laughs> That's Get in terrible. There. Get in there, bud. Win the national championship. <laughs> it's the old, it's the old the, the noise in your car engine and you turn the radio up. Yeah. You're like, look, what it, the noise is gone. <laughs> exactly. I kind of fixed it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. that, that's what I did in high school whenever I found out my, uh, my um, what is it, the muffler was dragging on the ground and I didn't know how to fix it, so I just started wearing headphones while I was driving and <laughs> listening to music. <laughs> it's not happening. It's not, it's not real. Happening. <laughs> um, Anthony, is there anything you want to plug before... Maybe um, something that you're coming out with. Yeah, we this, have some. Because this is airing mid-September, if not late September. Oh, so. yeah. Yeah, I know that. Right now it is mid-September yeah, as it's we It's actually, talk. yeah. It, we're I mean, in, you dropped a book yesterday, so you have a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> yeah. September. yeah, I do have a book. That's that's fine. But if you where, follow. Where can we get that? Uh, it's on uh, Amazon and also uh, Barnes and Noble. If you live near a Barnes and Noble, we have it right there. They carry them. They, you guys, I did see that. You yeah. guys are the best. Yeah. Um, hey, don't feel too special because it's right above our Kenneth Copeland Bible. So yeah. What is may, a Kenneth may, Copeland Bible? It's a Bible exactly. that's highlighted with Kenneth Copeland's highlights and notes because it's literally called. <laughs> we didn't buy this. Someone <laughs> someone sent us this as oh, a joke. Okay. It's the Kenneth Copeland Personal Notes Edition. Oh. On the Bible. Yeah. Look at that. And um. You learn a lot. Oh, you learn yeah. There's a lot. a lot highlighted. Yeah. Yeah. And he writes notes. It's really, really helpful. That's like when... Like um, this note says, like, God is bigger than the boogeyman. <laughs> Without that, I mean, I... <laughs> golly. That's like... Um, Transformed. Uh, the the Half-Blood Prince. It's like yeah. when you... Yeah, you get the right textbook and you can start... <laughs> the cheat code. <laughs> doing some weird stuff to Draco Malfoy. Yeah, I have yeah. a book that you can get on Amazon. You can follow me on Instagram, at the Bible is Funny. Have some stuff coming out uh, this summer that I'm pretty excited about. Um, doing oh, just always doing stuff on there. So but you're yeah, you're killing the, the TikTok and real game for sure. Yeah, Bible oh, content you, is phenomenal. Yeah, very very funny. Thank so you. So go follow him, especially for someone born in '89. Yeah, for '89 for '89 years old. You've really you're got your killing pulse. it. You've really got the pulse on the uh, the meme culture. Really, it's really impressive. Thank you guys so yeah. much. Yeah. yeah, my grandma's 87 and she gets lost in her own driveway. So. You doing all the social media stuff, you're killing it. Age yeah. is a number, and numbers mm. are um, digits, and digits are false. Dude. So, wow. If you want to pull a sound bite, wow. I think that's the one. <laughs> that's amazing. That's it right there. That's awesome. Well, cool. Thanks, Anthony. We love you. That's love you it. guys. There we go. It's a wrap! That was chaos. Dude, that is insane. Sorry. I would literally do that every morning just to like, let's go. Did you hate uh, it? Like, what? Wait, did you hate that? I did not. <laughs> did I say ninja? I meant butterfly. The butterfly is no doubt one of God.
Ah! As an empty mind. You were!